office in Mount Vernon. Good morning, Mount Vernon, Lisbon. Hi, I'm Jerry Deach from the Sauerkraut Days Committee. Good morning, Mount Vernon and Lisbon. Good morning, Good morning Mount, Mount Vernon, Vernon and Lisbon. Lisbon. I'm Joe. And I am always Kim. And we are promoting the awesomeness, and there is awesomeness, of the Mount Vernon and Lisbon area. Good morning. Good morning. You know who's awesome? You. No, Nathan. Yeah. <laughs> That's a given. We know that. Oh, okay. You were asking a question that people didn't know. Oh, okay. Well, you're awesome. Nathan, for coming and doing this. Yes, he is. Uh, every week. Absolutely. So, thank you for that. The man behind the magic. Yeah. Never, you've never been on camera, have you? No, I haven't. Someday we ought to change this up, put me behind <laughs> the camera and you here with Kim. See how it goes. What do you think? No? No, not really. I think I should be behind the camera. So <laughs> over the camera. You are the I not, already called it. You, Sorry, you called it. <laughs> the most technologically advanced. Oh, let's so. do it. Push a button. Right? You point it and push a button. Okay. Anyone can do that, right? You wish. Oh. You have to count backwards on your hands to give us a cue, <laughs> which I'm not sure we could do. You're right. I couldn't do that. Right? Okay. All right. I'm kidding. I Shall just we? wanted you to know that we appreciate you. We do. All right. Absolutely. Mount Vernon Lisbon, this is your breaking news. Volume 151, number 25. June 18th, 2020. Happy birthday, Emma Weldon, soon to be Emma Weagle on Saturday. Uh, have a wonderful birthday today. Love you. Happy birthday. Speaking of birthdays, we're taking a detour now. It says right here on the front page. That was we're... a beautiful segue. <laughs> it made total sense, didn't it? Go That's ahead. why I should be behind the camera, Nathan. <laughs> yeah. Work has begun on the wagon pass on First Street West, Mount Vernon Road in Mount Vernon. Crews may be dropping the deck. Dropping the deck. What does that mean? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Sounds dangerous. That would be the road that overcrosses the culvert. So there would be no way to cross the culvert unless you wanted to get a good running start at it. Oh, oh I wouldn't recommend that. No. Let's don't recommend that. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> Let's just avoid that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so uh, the wagon pass on First Street West, Mount Vernon Road in Mount Vernon. Crews may be dropping the deck and closing the road beginning next week. Okay. You can't take Mount Vernon Road into Mount Vernon. You can't. Guess what? Well, I haven't been doing it anyway. I have. I tried. Yeah. And it's, there was when there one lane was open and they, you were having to wait till yeah. the other people came back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have to tell you, it is going to be glorious when it's done. A little, little, little bitty inconvenient right now. Yeah. Glorious. Well, it's, it's like done. everything. A little in. What? What's a little more inconvenience, folks? <laughs> well, haven't we been through enough inconvenience around here? I was gonna say, where are you gonna go? Stay home. Stay home. <laughs> let them finish the roads. Yeah, there you all go. Right. Oh my gosh! Do you think when the roads are finished, this will finally all be over and we can I, actually leave our houses? I hope so. Well, then that's good. Let's get the roads done get now. Get the roads done. Okay. So most traffic is gonna be detoured to Scooby Road. So just so you know. Oh yeah. I've yeah. been taking the. 30 up to the 15 <laughs> and up to go back. But then you do have, if you don't want to do the big the big road, you can do Seacrest. You know, Scobie to Seacrest. It's a 13. You're going out there. So that's good. I've never taken that way. Oh, it's lovely. Okay. A little curvy. Watch your speed. All right. Okay. All right. You know what? We're back to Return to Learn. we got two stories in here about Return to Learn. That is big capital letters. Headlines, people. Return to Learn. All right. So let's start with Mount Vernon, shall we? Okay, let's. Mount Vernon School District will present the three possible plans it is developing for returning to school this August at the July 13th school board meeting. Great. The school board will be able to ask questions that and suggest any gaps that need to be filled in the plan. Wonderful. And that I makes think, sense. And I think you got to have two or three plans because you got to... If, it, if this is happening, then it's this. If this is going on, then it's this. And if it's this, then it's this. Good for them. So a backup plan to the backup plan. Yeah. So you have a plan, you have a backup plan, and then you have a backup backup plan. Yes. And if you're really smart, you have a backup 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 plan. I guess I'm not that smart. I think somebody just wants to say backup backup backup. Backup backup. Beep, 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 beep. beep. We're going to the other plan. Beep, beep. Yes. Okay. All right. The district probably won't know all the details necessary to decide on all its plans for doing school in 2021 until mid to late July or August. Right. Okay. And we just have to be flexible, friends. We just have to go with the flow. They're going to do what they feel is best, and don't get angry. Don't get frustrated. Just go with the flow. It's going to be flow. okay. Yeah. 
It is. Okay, we'll go with. I appreciate all those people trying to answer those questions. Oh. There's a lot of them, and it's ever changing. And you so. know what? I know that they are getting calls every day. Every day. What am I doing? What am I doing with my kids? Why, 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 why come I don't know? <laughs> That's hard. Answering all those phone calls. Yep. It's hard. Yes. Sometimes the answer is, you know, we just don't know yet. And that's got to be okay. Yes. All what right. else is happening? So Lisbon schools are also working on the return to learn plan. Mm -hmm. All right. Lisbon Superintendent Pat Hawking summarized what most school leaders are likely thinking as they look ahead to fall. School will not likely look as people once knew it before COVID-19. Yeah. This is according to Pat Hawking. The Lisbon School District, like all other school districts across the state, is working on its return to learn plan due to the Department of, Department of Education on July 1. So Hawking said that administrators discussed the issue on June 11 for three hours to come up with preliminary plans, S, plural, Please. right? Plan, yes. backup plan, backup plan, yes. backup, backup, backup plan. And then call in Kim and Joe. And then beep, 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 beep. The district is developing plans for three scenarios. This sounds very familiar. Yes. If school is online only in the fall, if school is a mix of online and in class learning, or if school is at our brick and mortar building. This is what Hawking said. So we're, it's still all to be determined. Isn't that interesting? Yes. And that's okay. Yeah. We're working on it. Well, the world is adapting to Mercy Care, or to, excuse me, to COVID-19, <laughs> sorry. Mercy Care Unity Point adapting to the world with COVID-19. Yes. So, Changes are happening there too. Absolutely. Mount Vernon's clinics have been adapting to providing health care in a world where COVID-19 impacts. Mercy Care Mount Vernon, more effort has gone into screening patients on the phone ahead of office visits, um, as well as screening staff, patients, and visitors who step in at the clinic for COVID-19 symptoms mm -hmm. to help mitigate the spread. Please call ahead of time so that we can assess what type of visit is needed for the best type of quality care. That's Carrie yes. Elliott talking. Yep. Visitor, visitors are also being asked to wear a mask when they visit the clinic and offering telehealth options for mm -hmm. those who prefer that option. Good. So there you go. Um, you know, here's uh, some extra bad news with COVID. Uh, Mount Vernon is going to pause J-Term. We were talking about this before. That is such a wonderful program, that J-Term. And, uh, you know, I've worked with those kids on a, a few J-Terms, and it's been just a really wonderful experience for them and for those in the community that are working with them. So this is a huge, uh, a huge part of But on a me. bright note, brush pickup begins on Monday. <laughs> we love that. <laughs> brush pickup begins. Uh, Mount Vernon will pick up brush. Monday, June 22nd, yes. brush should be stacked parallel to the street with a large end of the branch. Parallel? <laughs> which I think is different because it used to be perpendicular. Yeah, they used to want know. the sticks to be pulled out, but it's parallel? Well, I love this it. is what it says. I, I brush should be you. stacked parallel to the street yes. with the large end of the branch to the right oh. as one looks at the street. All right. Pay attention. That's parallel. And That sounds right. Did yes. you write that? No. But it certainly makes it sense. Makes I can sense. see it. So, and? Don't wash your white clothes, Lisbon, um, during the month of June, because they're flushing hydrants, and they'll get your white clothes all rusty. Yeah, and don't be flushing your clothes down, either. Or don't do that. Yeah. No. They're flushing the hydrants, not your clothes. No. Don't flush your clothes. All, all right. right. Well, well, we got that out of the way. Happy Father's Day to all our fathers. Yes, in the world. happy Father's Day to the fathers. Yeah. Lovely. This is just lovely over Isn't here. that nice? Like they did with the mamas. It's just great. I certainly recognize some familiar faces in this. God yep. bless them. Oh my gosh. Love it, love beautiful, it. Beautiful, beautiful photos here. Uh, very good. So, uh, if you haven't yet, you want to reach out to your dad for Father's Day, all right? Everybody remember that. Okay, let's see. Uh, playground work is continuing. Work continues on the Washington Elementary Playground Thursday. June 11th. That's exciting. Mount Vernon Community School Group is spending about 500000 on a playground with the goal of making it more accessible. Oh, that's yeah. always good. Isn't that nice? Yeah. And you know, I see that while we've all been shuttered, that there's been a lot of uh, construction going yes. on. Yes. So when we finally come out, we're going to come out to a nice, new, brand new, beautiful. Sparkling new. Yeah, something. Well, and everything's been cleaned down so well, too. So yeah. if it's not if it's not officially new, it's going to look new because it's all clean and tidy. Well, then you know what? We're all going to have to, like, come out all fresh and shiny to match. Yes. So, I don't know how that's Start gonna happen. Start working out. <laughs> Start working out and buy uh, some new soap. Oh, do I, I have know. to do that? No, I don't No, you know. don't. Okay. You're beautiful just the way you are. Oh, God bless you. 
Lynn, Lynn County Fair is, is going on, but virtually. Did you know this? I mm -hmm. did not. Well, I'm asking Nate. Yes. Oh, oh, he did. Probably wrote this story. No, I didn't. It's oh, a press good. release. I wrote an editorial for this week's paper, oh, the 25th. Okay. Although the Iowa State Fair is canceled, we know that, yes. The Lynn County Fair is going on virtually. Yeah, these virtual events are not the same, but, you know, it's better than nothing. Right? Absolutely. So, uh, due to the ongoing social distancing guidelines and additional precautions taking place to help slow and reduce the spread of COVID-19, Lynn County 4-H and FFA fair events will be held on virtual platform. Includes judged fair exhibits, as well as a few get-together events such as trivia and bingo. Oh, you had me a trivia and bingo. I'm in. I love me some trivia. All right, bingo! Maybe we can play bingo. I know. NGO. Okay, City Hall will open for next council meeting. Woo! Oh, breaking that's breaking news. news. Breaking Look news. Look at that. Discussion on when building will open to the public scheduled for June 22 meeting. So that's okay. coming up. Lisbon City Hall will be holding the next council meeting on Monday, June 22, open to the public. Lisbon City Council member Stephanie Camberling said she has disliked the Zoom meetings. Well, you know, they're kind of annoying, those Zoom meetings. And I've been taking far too many of them. Again, they're better than nothing. Yeah. It's better than shutting everything down and not talking to anybody except the people that roam around your house. But it is not a replacement for face-to-face -face real contact. It is not. So well, it is, yes, it is. it's different. She says, this is Kaberly, we get bad echoes on the Zoom calls. It can be hard to hear everyone presenting and you feel disconnected. I agree. And you know, not everyone is up to date uh, uh, technologically. So you're on those Zoom calls and some people are phoning in. Some people are having trouble with their internet connection going up and down. So it, it's not, not, it's not perfect. Yeah. They're not ideal. So let's see, what else we got? Well, we've got some staff changes. You want to go over that? Oh, we could. A number of staff changes are taking place at Mount Vernon due to the retirement of longtime teachers and support staff. So we had a lot of retirees. Mount Vernon High School Registrar Vicki Weiser has retired. I think we already announced that. Yes, we show. announced that. June 30, after 25 years. Boy, God love her. And Stephanie uh, Tim is continuing her good work. Yes, yes. She's going to take the job from Weisler July 1. Yes. And continue to be paid the same rate as what we Weisler would have been paid. Good. And uh, Stephanie Tim is taking over the register job from Teasler. Uh, Weisler, not <laughs> Teasler. Okay. Anyway, it's yeah. all in here. Yeah. You can read it better than I can, people. All right, moving on. All right, turning the page. Turning it. All what right. What do we got over here? We got oh, editorial page. Nice little pic, throwback picture of the old fire station that we're staring at, yeah. right to our left. With actual fire trucks in it. How long has it been since that. there's been a fire truck in there? Uh, I remember when there used to be fire Ooh. trucks in there. That's pretty cool. Yep. All nice. right. Let's see what else we have. I can get my fingers to make the Libraries. We've gone to the library column. I'm on A6 now. There we go. Libraries are places for information of all kinds of information. Information you agree with, disagree with, and information can help you understand a viewpoint that is not your own experience. Well, yep. that's quite a sentence, Kathy Boggs. Yeah. During this time of national protest, we have material for every age that explores our nation's history and the impact it has had on black Americans. Okay, I like this. Mm -hmm. We didn't arrive at this moment in history by chance. Uh, if you are seeking to understand more about the issues of racism facing our nation and our world, we have a list of materials to start with that can be requested for curbside pickup. So this is all good. They've got a list of adult books in here. And teen books and children's books. Yeah. So you can address it on all age levels, which I think is great. Well, it's nice to know. I see that on the adults, uh, Just Mercy, A Story of Justice and Redemption by Brian Stevenson is on there. Mm -hmm. Saw that movie recently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really powerful. Perfect movie for this time. I could not take my eyes off it. Yeah. So anyway, there's that. We got a Saturday drop-off at Landville. Landville by appointment only. It opens on Saturday to Lynn County residents by appointment and prepay only from eight to two. Okay. Huh. So if you got a big old TV you need to dump, a fridge, sofa, take it on out. But don't just go. You gotta make an appointment. That's good good advice, Kim. Thank you. There you go. Uh, Kirkwood's planning return to in-person learning. Oh, they're coming back! Wow. Everybody's starting to come back. They're I like starting this. Starting to come out. Kirkwood Community College has announced that it will be open this fall and will resume in-person classes 
and activities as well as offer online and hybrid learning formats. Hybrid learning, isn't that interesting? This new, yeah. Yeah. this new verbiage we use. Yes. Hybrid. Hybrid learning. Hybrid learning. Yes. Who knew there was ever going to be such a thing? But I know exactly what it means. Right? Isn't that interesting? Okay. Oh, CDG is offering big grants. They are. It says right here. Oh, well, tell me all Nathan about wouldn't it. lie to me. No. Why would he? All right. Mount Vernon Lisbon Community Development Group. That's the organization I work for. Business Improvement Grant is offering business improvement big grants with a June 30 deadline to apply. Grants for business. Businesses in Mount Vernon Business District and Lisbon District Business District offered on a competitive basis to both private, for-profit businesses, non-profit businesses. It's a part of an effort to improve the appearance of business area and complement the historic, architectural, cultural character of the community. Yeah. I like that. So anyway, it tells you all about it in here. If you have a, a business in Mount Vernon or Lisbon and you want to make some changes to the exterior of your business, these grants could help you. We have $10,000 in total. So don't be writing us a grant for ten thousand. We like to split that up between as many businesses share. as possible. We like to share. If yeah. you have a large project, we could probably fund a little bit of it. But uh, this is more. Although it's called a big grant, that stands for business improvement grants. It's not really a large grant. It's a small grant, and we like to give as much of it out as we can. I've heard from a number of businesses. So uh, the businesses are interested. Who's not interested in help oh. doing some work to the exterior and all this? Right. So now don't be turning the page. Ooh, why not? Because I see a little something you might be interested in. It's Bijou. Look at the Bijou ad. Look what they're playing. You're close. See the sun ad. It's colder. Go down. Warmer. Do Are we on the right page? Right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, singing in the rain. Yeah. Oh, that's totally my favorite music. I know. That's why I said it. So we can go to see that. Is that this weekend? 619 to 2020? That's the 19th. That okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. Well, I want to see that I on the big screen. Do. Wouldn't that I don't think I've ever seen it on the big screen. No. But I can surely recite all of those words. We could <laughs> do a every song. little tap dance. And I might right be now. able to pull out a tap dance or two. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's good to know. That cool. I was thinking you were missing that. Yeah. Three ways to order. You can go online. You, you can get can curbside schedule. pickup. You can get popcorn for your home movies too. Well, that sounds fun. I'm that. sorry. No matter how you pop it at home, it's not movie it's popcorn. Not movie popcorn. Yeah. However, Even when they Orville Redenbacher's calls it movie popcorn, no, it's, not it's not the same. But have a, a, Josie makes at our house some really amazing popcorn. She pops the microwave popcorn and then she melts the real butter and pours it on it. That's movie popcorn. That's pretty darn close. She's a yeah, she's got it. Well, now. maybe she needs to go in business. Uh, maybe so. Oh. Oh. Right. Oh, we're going backwards. Yeah. Well, okay. we got the. There's going to be backwards jumps. I okay. love backwards jumps. Okay. It's good for my back. So this is a sports section. Baseball and softball are playing again. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! I think this is exciting. Okay. All right. Let's talk about. It. Okay. Well, Margaret Stevens starts her story by this. It's different. Everything is different in their right now. Mm -hmm. That was the unsurprising response from Lisbon coach Bob Bunting when asked about the 2020 softball season. The Hall of Fame coach at Lisbon Lions had their first games Monday, June 15. The kids are reacting well, but the spacing out and the sanitizing, ugh, I imagine. That would be hard. You gotta wipe down a bat every yeah, time you it. You know, you're, you're both going for a, a pop fly out there in left field or something. <laughs> you gotta stop six feet from each other. That didn't one, of you, before. one of you does. The other one needs to go after the ball. <laughs> yeah, you got to be sure that yes. one of you is going to stop. And then you got to wipe the bat down oh and you got to squeegee the ball. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. But they're yeah. doing it. Because they're why? Because they want to play. Well, and you know what? We all like to watch baseball and softball. There you go. So let's go out and support those nice people safely. Yeah. Six feet apart, people. Yes. Don't you be breathing on my hot dog, Nathan. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Okay, Gonna be worried about where you got that hot dog, Joe, because concession stands aren't open. <laughs> concession stands are open. They're not open. open. Oh, I bring it with me. <laughs> All right. A hot dog right now. So, MV softball preparing for beginning of the season. Lisbon resident earns all academic all region honors. Well, this is wow. interesting. Let's read this, shall we? Yes. All right. Peyton Ball of Lisbon was among 46 student athletes from Hawkeye Community College 
who earned academic all-region honors in the Iowa Community College Athletic Conference for spring 2020. Nice. Ball was a first team performer, meaning he received a 3.5 grade point average or above, while second team members earned 3.0 and 3.49 GPA. So there you go. Hmm. Not only a good athlete, smart too. Smart. Or smart too and a good athlete. That's a good combo. Well, things are starting to look a little more normal in the paper. Yes. Yeah. So sports yeah. section is a, a big step. Thank yes. you for that. Now I'd like to say, may I? Mm -hmm. Please. Just what makes that little old ant think he can move that rubber tree plant? Everyone knows an ant can't move a rubber tree plant, but he's got everybody high, high hopes. hopes. He's got high hopes. He's got high apple pie in the sky.